What's up guys, welcome to the DMX show, I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys the glazed jelly bean ROM for the Nexus 7. Um, as you guys can see, this thing flies, it is very quick. The one thing that this thing hangs its hat on is the custom animation. So if I open up like Twitter, you'll see the little fly-in animation. And animations when I go back, if I open up my YouTube app, same thing. Different custom anim animations there. So that's one thing that they hang their hat on. Uh, they've put extra effort into the custom animations going to and from uh, different applications. It tends to give this ROM a totally unique feel. Um, obviously that's a minor thing, but you can't imagine how much different it makes this ROM feel. Uh, so what we'll do is jump into settings. And we'll go to about tablet. And you see that we are running Android version 4.1.1 and we're on the Motley kernel so this thing really does fly uh, it is going very fast on uh, the glazed jelly bean 1.1.2 uh, so what we'll do is go back into settings it does come with a few applications here it comes with the Apollo music it comes with uh, Beats Audio it does come with a Nova launcher and I think that's pretty much it as far as custom applications and uh, we have lots of customization options. So if we're going to launcher, this will be your Nova settings launcher, your Nova launcher settings, uh, where you can change all kind of things here. And then if we go into our lock screen settings, uh, you can change the background. You can add weather to your lock screen. You can add calendar and uh, different slider shortcuts. The way you would add shortcuts is you would just drag and drop. You would select where it says empty, go to applications, choose an application and you would select OK then of course you'll click the save button here so now if you turn it off and back on the browser should be in that location like so and we'll go back if we go into themes this is where you can apply custom themes on the fly so if I go uh, to the ICS fixer theme you can apply that just instantly or you can go with the regular theme and if we go into system, there's a few system settings here as well. Uh, so we have status bar. Uh, you can actually change the clock color. You can choose to show the clock or not show the clock. You can actually put this thing in tablet mode uh, just from the uh, settings, which is one other really cool thing about this ROM. A lot of you guys have been asking about tablet mode. And there is a way to do tablet mode on any ROM, which I'll probably get to that later on today anyhow uh, but if you go to tablet mode you can just hit tablet mode and then that automatically changes you to tablet mode uh, just like if you had like an Asus Transformer Prime uh, there is your tablet mode so that's pretty cool and then if you don't like that you can go back pretty easily uh, you can change your battery status style so I like just regular percentage and you can change your brightness control uh, button colors for your navigation you can change those settings there as well and then if you go to um, notification drawer you can actually choose which widgets you want to have in your pull down widgets lots to choose from there and you can change the order and let's see that's about it so that's pretty much it for settings uh, you can choose custom wallpapers there as well and change your font size uh, but we'll go ahead and install this ROM So we'll just go to Reboot and Recovery. Uh, you know what, one thing before we do that, uh, we do have performance settings here. I almost forgot about performance settings. This is where you can overclock and underclock your CPU. So we go to Processor and Maximum CPU Frequency. You can actually overclock this thing all the way up to 1600 megahertz. Now if you do that, this ROM will fly. Uh, I would suggest to like test that out before you set it on boot and you may not want to set it on boot at all uh, just because it could be unstable going that incredibly fast. So you just kind of want to play around with it and see what you experience. If you do undervolt it, be very careful with that too because it needs a certain amount of voltage in order to uh, boot up. So you'll want to make sure that you don't really set those on boot. In fact, yeah, I would just recommend not ever setting these on boot. And you can just go in there every time you reboot your uh, tablet and reset that. One other thing I want to show you guys is the battery life here. I'm at 75%. And if I go into settings and battery, and I have been using this a lot. So um, 
one day and 11 hours my screen on time has been uh, for you know one hour and 15 minutes and I'm still at 75 percent so that's not bad at all so we'll go ahead and reboot and install this you want to grab the ROM itself and the G apps from the link in the description and of course you'll need to have an unlocked bootloader you'll need to be rooted and you'll need to be running a custom recovery as well most of you guys already know how to install a ROM pretty simple stuff you'll just go to wipe factory reset swipe to wipe cache swipe to wipe down the cache swipe to wipe then we'll go to install and you are looking for let's see what was it called glazed jelly bean and then you'll flash the gapps so glazed jelly bean swipe to confirm the flash and then the gapps jelly bean swipe to confirm the flash then you go to reboot and system Guys, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx if you like this video. I'm also going to be covering the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Nexus, the Droid Bionic, and any of the other videos, uh, any of the other devices that will be coming out soon. I know that there's rumors about the Galaxy, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Galaxy Note 2 and several other phones and just rest assured that I'll be covering those as well so if you want to see video on those just subscribe right there give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next one